We're checking the connection, y'all. We're checking the connection because I don't know what the heck's going on. I was talking to my daughter and then all of a sudden my call dropped and yeah, yeah. So I guess we're checking the connection. Can you all hear me? Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, we're just gonna go for it. I guess if it, if it records, it records. If it drops, it drops, right? I, I got nothing, I got nothing. I don't know. I don't know what else to do or what else to say. So I hope that you can all hear me tonight. It is uh, Bare Bones Kitchen Night. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hi. Cheers, cheers. I am your culinary coach, Harmony. And I would love to welcome you into my Bare Bones Kitchen. I thought something quick and easy would be amazing. Um, it's kind of warm here today. My house is pretty cool as of this moment, but yeah, I don't know what it's going to be like in a little bit. So we're just going to get this dang thing done. How about that? All right. So I have my pan here on a, a medium high heat. You know, I got a, a one through 10. I got it on eight. I do not have any oil though, but that's okay because we don't need to cook with oil. I do need to get the one little straight freaking cat hair out of here though. All right. Sometimes it happens when you have animals, you guys. I don't know what else to tell you. Do not know what else to tell you. How is everybody this evening? All right. So I made a boo-boo and thought I had onion. And I thought I had a whole onion over there, but it turns out I used it. So I have just a little handful, a little tiny itty bitty handful of onions and that's okay. That's okay, I'm gonna make it work. They came from my freezer. All right, and then I got some bacon over here that also came from my freezer. I cut all this stuff up prior to coming here. Didn't take very long though, like maybe 10 minutes. And it's okay that I don't have oil because all of the bacon fat it's going to render down and I'll have a little bit of oil and it'll taste delicious. Why? Because, well, because I freaking said so. That's why. Because I said so. Let's see if I can find a utensil to use. Tyler's very favorite little childhood memory here. How is everybody tonight? Are you all doing amazing? I hope you are. I hope somebody's out here that can hear me. If not, I'm just talking to myself, which kind of like, what's the difference, you guys? <laughs> so I took my car to the shop on Monday. That is why I did not do Monday morsels. Um, funny story about that. On my way home today, I was totally thinking like, man, I wonder if the shop's going to call me today. And I got home and I had a call from the shop. Go figure, right? So I uh, tried to call them back. It had been four minutes and there was no answer. I was super bummed. So I don't know what's going on with my car yet. That's okay, because I got my trusty little Lou too. My trusty little Lou too. Does anybody else name their cars? Let me know, let me know in the comments. Tell me what, you name, what your car's name is if you name your cars. I have had a Lou. Now we got a Lou too. My first Lou was a little Toyota Corolla that my grandpa helped me buy at an auto auction many, 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 many years ago. I drove that car for 14 years before I gave it to one of my coworkers. And in that 14 years, I had just, just one oil change, one oil change. And the only reason why I had that, I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, the only reason why I had that was because my sister had some friends, because she was learning how to drive, um, that worked at Jiffy Lube, and that was my one oil change. And it literally ran for 14 years on one oil change. Best little car, started right up. I think I replaced the brakes once in 14 years. I replaced the alternator once in 14 years. And other than that, that was it. 
like minimal, minimal, and it was turnkey every time. So if you guys ever watch Top Gear, like, yeah. The old school Top Gear, I don't know about the new school Top Gear because I don't watch that one, but like the old school Top Gear, they have like a little Toyota that they ran into the freaking ground. It's true, you guys. Toyota, I will stand behind Toyota every step of the way. As I'm dealing with my Chevy. Yeah. Do you know how that makes me feel? I'm a little frustrated. Anyways, anyways, moving on. Um, so I had that little car, which was, that was uh, Lou. And then my next Toyota Corolla. <laughs> Do you see a trend, you guys? Do you see a trend? Hello, hello, welcome. I hope you can hear me. I can't even see that name. Black, I can't even see the, anything past black. Because I don't have my glasses on, you guys. All right, so we just got this bacon and onion just doing its thing in here. And it's good, it's good. Just remember when you're adding your spices, you don't have to add a ton of salt because your bacon's already going to be salty along with the... Uh, sausage that I have so just a couple little sprinkles I know that always looks like a lot but it's totally not a lot I promise you I promise you I didn't take anything down because I'm kind of a slacker tonight got my Weber's of course if you've been around here you know this is my very favorite next to my salt and pepper my little trifecta here I'm definitely going to need some more fat, so again, I'm all out of oil, so we're just going to wing it here, you guys. I don't know if I have a bad connection or what, so I hope you guys can hear me again. If you're on, tell me hello. All right, I got a big old lump of butter. We're just going to throw some butter in here. Because butter makes everything better, right? All right. Then I got some cabbage. I did a half of a small head of cabbage because it's just Zane and I. So, but Zane will eat the crap out of this. He was a little bummed that I was using the smoked sausage. So I just bought a couple smoked sausages that were on sale. Um, he was bummed that I wasn't using linguisa, but it's just how it rolls, man. It, linguisa is expensive, so, well, in comparison, it's delicious, but it's expensive. Oh, I'm just throwing sausages everywhere here. All right, you guys, so, so far, I have some onions, which I didn't have enough. Not anywhere near enough. It's always going to add some good flavor. I have got my cabbage with my bacon and my trifecta of spices because you don't got to get all crazy, okay? As I'm burping, excuse me, I apologize, I'm sorry. And we're just going to like cook this a little bit and then we're going to throw in the sausage because your sausage is already like cooked. so. Really, you could eat it cold, just like it is. Obviously, this is like the 2000s, so it's not ever recommended to eat anything like that. Whatever. Whatever. As when, you know, in my age group, your mom would give you a hot dog straight out of the cold ass fridge, or you'd just go get one. Yeah. That's just a little bit of water. It's gonna help with the little steaming process. I'm going to make a little well in here, and then I'm going to put my sausage in there. It's probably not a big enough well, but that's okay. We'll get it all whooshed around. I did make a little bit of rice for the side because sometimes people just want rice. And people, by people, I mean me. That's what I mean. I mean me. I want rice with this. Why? Because it's delicious. That's why. I love rice. And whatever I don't eat today, duh, I'm going to take to work tomorrow. Hello, Miss Leah. You can hear me and see me? Good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you can hear me and see me. 
How are you, my love? I miss your beautiful face every single day, and I can't not wait, can't not wait, until next month when I get to hug you guys for your anniversary. Very excited for that. This is super easy, you guys. Just quick and easy. It's fairly all right for you, I guess. I mean, maybe the sausage, maybe not. But you could absolutely substitute and do some chicken. You just want to make sure your chicken is cooked on the side first. Um, oftentimes, I will just do a bacon and onion and cabbage for a side dish for Zane and I. Because Zane actually loves cabbage, you guys. Well, thank you, Miss Leah. Thank you. I don't feel very lovely today. I, I got my dress for Jasmine's wedding. And I ordered the largest size that the website had. And I couldn't zip it up. I was, well, first of all, it's hard to, as a busty girl, to do the side zipper. Because, like, things get in the way. And then to try to have Zane uh, help me was like, ooh, I don't want to get close to your boobs, mom, you know. So it's one of those situations. So I am, I'm on the hunt for some shapewear. Hey, Ron, how are you? I am definitely on the hunt for some shapewear because I think things need to be sucked in a little bit. So it's good. It's good. It'll be fun. All right, back to, back to what's actually in the pan and not what's going on in my world. So I have not enough onions because I, I thought I had more onions and I did not because I apparently used them and I, it escapes my mind right now for what I used the onion for. Um, but I'm sure whatever it was, it was probably delicious. Uh, so I have some onion, some bacon, just because. A little bit of cabbage. Uh, half of a head of a small cabbage and two smoked sausages that you can find in your little uh, deli department, like the little meat area where your sliced cold cuts are, not the actual deli. I mean, you might be able to find this over there, but I don't think so. I don't think they actually have smoked sausages over there. Or just go to your favorite meat market, you guys. It's cool. It's cool. And we rendered down the fat from the bacon because I don't have any oil. Look, I'm just like ticking all of the marks today. Um, didn't have any oil. I added a little bit of butter because butter makes everything better. A little bit of salt, pepper, and my very favorite Weber's uh, garlic and herb. And we're just going to cook this down. And then I have a, a little pot of rice over here that I will put on, you know, I'll put this on my rice and Zane will not eat the rice with it, even though he loves rice. He's like, why are we having rice to go with it? And I'm like, homie, because it's rice. Leah, I try to tell him it's from the land of his people. He just looks at me and goes, Mom, I'm not poor anymore. I'm not poor anymore. Because that's how I used to get him to eat things, right? It's the land of my people. All right, we're just going to let this do its thing. That sausage is going to cook. And I was going to do sausage and potatoes with onions and peppers, but I knew those potatoes would take way too long. This is going to be ready in no time. Just water. We're gonna rock this just how it is. I can absolutely take a picture of this when it's all done. Oh, 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 it's Ron's Friday and he thinks it's drink o'clock. Cheers, buddy. Cheers on that. It's called bare bones. You're right. That's, you know, that's how I roll. Bare bones, absolutely. And Miss Leah loves rice. Of course you do, because it's from the land of your people, Leah. <laughs> From the land of your people. I love it. That's fantastic. I am so glad that you all can see me because I'm really having some internet connection issues. So thank you, thank you for joining me. We will not have Suck It Up Saturday this weekend because it's an off weekend. I am also doing a catering this weekend, so I will not be available to do a Suck It Up Saturday this weekend. Um, I do have plans to do a Monday Morsels, though, which I know I missed this week. And again, I apologize, but I had to take my car to the shop. And actually, by the time I got home, it was like 5.30, and I was like, uh, yeah. Glad I didn't do that because I would not have had time to do anything. Because with my busy schedule these days, I don't even have time to think about what I'm going to do during the day like I used to. And 
If you've been watching long enough, you guys know I am not very prepared. Uh, sorry, Mom, this is my last one. <laughs> Maybe this weekend? No, nope, because I'll be gone this weekend. I can't bring you one this weekend either. Um, but I am not very prepared. I never, I never have a menu prepped for you guys. Okay, that's a lie. I seldomly have a menu prepared for you guys. And these days, I just don't have the time to think about it all day long, okay? I don't have time to, like, barely breathe or have a tinkle break, okay? That's, that's how busy I am. Hopefully that will not be happening for too much longer, and I can actually get back into the swing of things with my old routine. And then finally get some BBK BBQ jarred up and canned up because hopefully Miss Gail will help me with that and get that out there for you guys. I'm really excited. I think I'm going to try some peach habanero Carolina sauce this weekend. And I haven't decided if I'm going to switch up the berry because that mixed berry goes really well. People like that mixed berry with the chipotle. So we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. But I'm definitely gonna switch up the mango and I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a peach habanero for my lovely friend Wonderful. So that's what I got going on this weekend. I'm actually taking Friday off so I can cook all day on Friday and have all of her amazing food ready to go on Saturday. And that is what I am doing. Again, in the comments, drop what you have named your car because I would love to know. I've had a Lou, a Carlos. A Morrison. What else have I had? A couple junkers in there somewhere, but that wasn't their name. It might as well have been though, because that's what they were. But I don't have a new name for my 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 little red cruise. I don't have a name because I gave my son the good name. He calls his car the Red Baron, and I should have kept that damn name for myself when he bought it, but. I didn't know I was going to have a new red car a couple months later, so let me know. Let me know. Leah's car's name is Motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I feel that. that. Maybe that should be my car's name now. The Black Pearl. Yeah, that fits your car, Ron. That fits your car. Black Pearl. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So I will see you all on Monday. Keep sharing the love, keep showing up, y'all keep showing up, so do I, most of the time, most of the time. I will absolutely update the last handful of videos on, let's see, I'm going to try for tomorrow, but I cannot promise you anything. Most of the time these days when I get home, I'm like, the rattler, love it mom, Betsy, love it, great, those are great names. Um... I will absolutely try to do uploads tomorrow. If not, just keep visiting that YouTube page and keep sharing it, you guys. Keep sharing it. I should call mine the Rad Bomber. I love that. That's fantastic. And it's so fitting, right? So fitting. Maybe I should call it the Trapper Keeper. <laughs> All right, y'all. I love you. Thank you for showing up. And you guys are the best.